Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm finally installing my new Van True Nexus 4 Pro dash cam. Three cameras in this thing right here, one facing out the front windshield. That's this guy right here. One faces out the rear window. On the other side of this right here is a cabin camera as well. Three cameras in the Nexus 4 Pro. This thing is decked out with, with all kinds of features. We have extreme temperature protection, a 4K camera facing forward. So 4K facing out the front windshield and 1080 on the rear in the cabin. We have the wide viewing angle, of course. We got the voice control, the GPS logger, buffered motion detection, collision detection. There are so many cool things in this dash cam right here. And all the reviews seem to talk really highly of the Van True dash cams in general no matter which one you get get you a dash cam it'll pay itself over 10 times probably 100 times best insurance you can buy yourself to protect yourself from those you know those those good old boys just the misunderstood kids <laughs> I was in traffic on the freeway recently and I was in my lane just driving, doing my thing and this truck next to me decided to just pretend I wasn't even there and turn right into me. I slammed my brakes and then he just continued onto my lane like I wasn't even there. That happens all the time. That could easily be a situation where if there's nothing, there's no video evidence that I wasn't at fault and that person turned into me, it could easily be a he said, she said thing or he said, he said thing or it could easily be a back and forth thing where the insurance company deems you guys both liable. Bust it open and check it out and try it out. Here's everything that comes with the dash cam. We have the, uh, the power supply there, the dash cam itself, the cabin inside of the truck and then that faces forward. And then an extension cord that goes from the main camera all the way to the rear camera, 20 feet of extension. And this goes to the rear facing camera right there. It also came with a, uh, a USB-C cable, which it says it's only for data transfer. Hoping this works for actually uh, powering it up as well, because I bought an adapter, to pull power from the mirror there, to turn that into a USB port pretty much, right there behind my mirror assembly. The most time consuming part of running dash cams, all the wiring, tucking it away nice and clean, Putting the dash cam up in the windshield, obviously very easy. Just stick it on there, pretty straightforward. And same with the rear one, peel this and stick it where you want it. And that's pretty much it. Most of you guys will probably use your rear window, but since the Tundra here has a roll down back window, I don't want to put it on the window in case I ever forget the dash cams there or want to roll the window down. All right, so as far as placement goes here on this front dash cam, I want to make sure that from the front seats that the camera can see my face. So I'm going to sit here in the passenger seat and then also the driver's seat to make sure I can make eye contact with that camera. So using the data transfer only USB-C cable, I went straight from the camera to USB. Fire it up and see if that powers it. Hopefully it does because I don't want to use the uh, cigarette lighter. All right, so good news. And also don't mind the noise next door doing some construction, I guess. But I have mine hooked up just to USB straight into the dash cam here and it's recording. So that's awesome right there because I don't actually think I even have a cigarette lighter in this truck. So here it is from Dongar Technologies, actually made for dash cams. It's vehicle specific from Amazon. Takes a little force. It's on there pretty good. Okay, now take the adapter and plug it right into there like that and then uh, leave that hanging. Now we got USB power. Now for the sake of feeding my wire through a bit easier, pop that guy off right there. Now I'm gonna feed the USB cable right through the opening here. Alrighty, make sure it works. Just like that. Make sure we put this thing on nice and straight. All right, guys, so the front dash cam is in, looking good. And now I'm gonna throw in the rear dash cam right now really quick before wiring it in. All right, stick it right there and hold it for about a minute with some firm pressure. All righty, now the back camera is secure in place along with the front camera. So I popped off the dome light again and now I'm feeding that 20 feet of cable through that opening. And that'll go into the dash cam on that side and that makes it a lot easier to feed the wire into the headliner and all the way back, so. Hopefully it still closes with that popping out. Boom, there you guys have it. Just like that. Flip everything back up. All right, 
right, little issue here. So the connection that goes from the uh, the main dash cam here to the rear dash cam is kind of in the way. I have to relocate this whole thing. Problem is, I already stuck down the uh, 3M sticky tape. Pull the dash cam off the mount first. See what we can do about relocating this. Hopefully it's not too late, but we will find out. Okay, I didn't film it, but we got lucky. Came right off. That's not good. I don't know what just happened, but the truck is not starting now. Well, my truck died. Got the jump start going. Apparently I killed the battery. So I was working on it for like maybe two hours and uh, we're down to seven volts. Got the old 5.7 iForce charging me up. Alrighty, that was sketchy. I had the truck on for like maybe two hours in accessory mode and the truck died. 4K camera facing forward. We have 1080p in the cabin. What you're seeing, you're seeing me right now in 1080p and then also 1080 out the back window, which I know it's not the best view out the rear right now because of where I put it inside the truck. Most of you are gonna have, you know, a back window to stick it onto. My back window does roll down and I wasn't trying to sacrifice that. I could if I wanted to, but I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't roll it down too often in the first place, but when I do, I don't wanna forget the camera's there and then, uh, you know, roll it down and mess something up. But I might just put it on the window to get, uh, to get a better view. Cause right now it's showing more of my bed cover than anything else. It is showing a good amount straight back. I mean, it's more so like who's in my immediate area. So it's Black Ben's right here. You guys will probably see pretty good right there in my back right corner. And as I come up to a red light, I mean, it will show someone were to hit me from behind or something like that. It'll, it'll show enough. I can see right now on the camera that I can see right now there is a display here on the dash cam itself on the front dash cam. And I can see, you know, two cars to my left right now. I can see three cars now. I can see one car right behind me. So it does show, you know, the car behind me directly, but it's not showing like a, a long range because there are three cars behind him and I'm not seeing any of those. So it really only shows, I would say like two car lengths behind me because there's one car length between me and the car behind me and then that car is what you're seeing so i'm really curious how well we can pick up license plate numbers that's why i want to go with the 4k really bad on the uh on the camera facing forward so we can get plate numbers see if we can get the plate number on that silver car to my right that'd be clutch it is in 4k right now so hopefully you guys can see that and adjust the cabin camera pretty good you can go pretty far up and down with that um, and where I have mine right now, I can see a little bit on my driver's side and then a little bit out the passenger side. This is going to be a lifesaver one day in a situation where someone decides to, you know, switch three lanes at once right into the side of my truck. Who knows? Anything could happen. I hope nothing does ever happen. Now, according to the reviews, the, uh, the camera at nighttime is really good too. So I'll wait a few hours here until the sun goes down and drive around and see how it is at nighttime. But, um, about to pull up right now and see how the footage is here so far. One thing the dash cam doesn't come with is a memory card. All you need is a micro SD card and you are good to go. I recommend getting a pretty big one so you can store as much on your dash cam as possible. Wow, dude, that is crispy footage right there. I will say the front facing camera outside the truck. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Play numbers completely readable. That's amazing quality out front. But one thing it does is it records three separate files, right? So we have the front facing camera, the cabin camera, and then the, uh, the rear facing camera too. So it's saving it all as three separate files, which means that's three times the memory being used. So you use a giant memory card, um, especially considering the front facing camera is 4K. And dude, once again, that is crispy footage right there. I mean, you can read all the street signs perfectly. That's amazing. Wow, dude, that's crazy how clear that is. That's video on video right now. That's pretty, that's pretty dang good right there, dude. So get something crazy because you're going to use that memory up pretty quick. It's going to loop record everything, which means it's going to erase the old memory first. Once the card gets filled up, it's going to then erase the oldest stuff first when recording the new footage. Um, but still, you want to be able to go back in time sometimes to you know, get some old footage, not something that just happened like five minutes ago. You want to be able to save, you know, got at least a couple hours of footage. Definitely get you a big memory card. Your rear view camera at 1080p is actually pretty, pretty dang good too. Not sure if I can grab play numbers too well, but let's see. Not able to get that play number. It's a little blurry. That's what you're going to rely on the front camera for. That's for sure. But at least we have a visual of the rear and also too, this front dash cam or the cabin dash cam too also does pretty well at seeing what's going on behind you as well. All right, let's check it out now from an aesthetic standpoint. And, uh, 
Yeah, you guys have it. Not too bulky, pretty slim. One in the back here though is pretty subtle. Just right up in there, pretty low key. And check it out from the outside looking in on the windshield. Now we have the Van True app here, so we can connect to the uh, dash cam through the phone now. We can switch through the camera angles. Now top in the settings, G sensor settings. If it feels a shock, uh, it'll save that clip um, into the events folder, I believe is where it goes. But it'll save that and lock it so you can't loop over it. Um, so you can adjust the, uh, the amount of shock it needs from front rear or left right or even up and down. So we have all that set to three out of five. Record status light, so while it's recording, it's flashing green right there. And also too, I already turned the display off as well. Right here, auto LCD off. I turn that off right away to 30 seconds. You can turn the off function to the off setting, which means it won't turn off at all or after one minute or three minutes. But I have mine set to 30 seconds, which means when it gets powered up, when the truck turns on and the dash cam is activated, the screen will only be on for 30 seconds and then it turns off. But you can actually turn it right back on with any button and now it's back on for another 30 seconds. So there's that. So we have GPS on and the speed recording as well. And uh, device sound, I turned that off already. And also the warning tone, you can turn stuff off and on. So power on sound, turn mine off. Key sound, turn mine off as well. And left the rest of those on. So stamp settings, which means it puts that onto the video file. So when you play back your video, it'll show a stamp of all these things right here. So date and time. Uh, brand and model stamp, speed stamp, and GPS location stamp too. So it puts coordinates on the screen as well for you, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's all of the settings you guys can play with right in here. So uh, the camera does have a super night mode. So I'm really curious about that right there. So we'll wait till the sun goes down, which is almost down now, and see how well the super night mode works. I'm assuming that the, uh, the camera facing forward is probably pretty decent. I, I don't know yet at all, um, but that being the 4K, is probably gonna be the best the best one, right? The camera facing rear, out the rear window, I did change its location and moved it closer to the window and I glued it right on the weather strip. Probably not gonna be able to see too much right now because it is 5% tint on top of factory tint, so it's like 1% tint. If I roll the window down back there, then you guys can see probably a lot better. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not gonna be that great in the nighttime back there, I'm sure. You guys probably see like silhouettes and headlights, but of course having that window down right now, you guys probably see a lot better. See if we can get some some plate numbers out of the front facing camera and street signs. So we'll pass the street sign right here that says Bayview Way. Hopefully you guys can read that. Roll the back window up now. And how do I look inside of the truck? Keep in mind this, I have 5% window tint all the way around over the factory tint also in the rear. So it's super, super dark in the rear. That's why you guys can see too much on the back window with the window up. Um, but that being said though, it's, it's really, really dark in here. So having a dash cam like this running all the time is pretty cool because there's a lot of things I come across that I'm, I'm just like, it happens too fast and I can't catch it in time to put my phone out and record it. So it is cool having the dash cams up at all times for that reason right there. All right, so I reviewed the footage last night and I'm pretty impressed with the, um, the night vision inside of the cabin. Given how dark the inside of my truck is, I have window tint all over this thing. I have 5% tint on the front two roll-ups, 5% tint over the factory rear tint, which is like stupid dark back there. And I do have 80% tint here on the windshield, which isn't really much. It's for the most part invisible, but it is still slightly there. So that being said, it is really, really dark in my truck and the night vision still works pretty good. Now for the front facing camera, that was pretty good too. I was still able to pick up street signs and a lot of you know details and, and whatnot. So yeah, pretty good for a night shot. Very impressive on that front end camera. As for the rear facing camera, so I actually relocated it uh, to the weather strip right here because I wasn't getting enough when having it mounted right here. It was cutting off quite a bit. I was only able to see the immediate area behind me. So I actually super glued it to the weather strip right here. And now we have a full clean shot of uh, a much wider range out the rear in there. So, and the rear camera is a very nice quality too. So overall, very impressive. Um, definitely recommend Van True for the quality, the, you know, ease of use the app is very easy to use and we have three cameras in this one but you guys can find something that's more in your budget you can get two cameras one camera three cameras um, they have quite a list of cameras that fall in your budget get you a dash cam it is the best insurance you can buy yourself 
it's so worth it because there might be a time that comes where you're like, oh dang, I wish I had a, da a dash cam and you did it and then you buy one and then it's too late. So definitely get you a dash cam, link below on this one uh, for you guys. Browse our Amazon store, browse website and find one that's right for you guys. Very easy to install and uh, just a great peace of mind to have. That's about it, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon, link below for you guys. Till next time, peace. Oh, and you guys thought I forgot by the way, the new wrap has landed. You guys will see that in the next video. So stay tuned, peace.